Best of silverware, the Carabao Cup. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith. Special day for us and for the players, of course, as well. It's Chelsea against Aston Villa. Yeah, special day for all concerned. They've worked extremely hard to get to this point, these two teams. And Conte! So straightforward enough for the goalkeeper. Good hands, but it would have been a surprise if he dropped it. Yeah, kept his eye on the ball. Good handling from him. Bjorn Engels. Gilbert able to intercept it. Vulnerable Villa. That's really been the headline, hasn't it, this season? So far, as far as their defending is concerned. Yeah, you would expect a home win, but uh, we've come to expect the unexpected at times. Nakamba. It's good play to uh, get a foot in and intercept. Conte. Kovacic. Here's Conte. That's Filiqueta. Conte. Now William. Chiro. Cross is blocked here. It's a very good clearance and it was needed. That's Filiqueta. William. Play back. Conte. Mateo Kovacic. Well, sitting back, that's a bit of a policy here, and letting the opposition... Shots on! Well balanced final this, but we've got the first goal now. Well, here is a player that tends to produce when it matters. Certainly matters today. That was an amazing shot. Very difficult technique. And the goalkeeper left helpless. Well, he's rooted to the spot. He flew past him at some pace. Another angle on it here. <laughs> so Chelsea in front. For Chelsea, Frederick Gilbert looking to attack the cross in numbers. Here's Jorginho. Marcos Alonso prepared to just pass the ball around in their own half, winning the game as the scoreline tells you. Encouraging play from this team now, keeping the ball. Jorginho. He's got it back again from his teammate. Pepe Reina, no problem for him. Moving it nicely and productively here. Here's Jorginho. Could have stopped it, but wisely has let them play on. Giroud. William. Kovacic. It's in! Fine moment for them. They've got a firmer grip on the game now. They're two ahead. Well, he was on his toes. The defenders were on the heels. Good take. And we can see a slightly different viewpoint on it. His team haven't been at it, and look at the manager's face. He can't believe what they're giving him out there. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. Number 17, Matteo Kovacic. Got his foot in to cut out the pass. Chelsea, seen... More than enough of the ball. The way they've played, the way they've been clinical in front of goal, it's difficult to see a way back to the opposition if they can continue in this vein. They've been so good out here today. 
He's won it back easily. Very good physicality from him to shield the ball. Anwar El Ghazi. Bjorn Engels. Well, they're getting the ball forward. They need to do that. Players arriving in the middle. Well, I have to say the game's passing him by midfield today. Well, this boy normally makes his team tick. But if you're not going to get the ball, that's not going to happen. They've got to find a way of reversing this trend if they're going to get back into this game. Takes the shot off. And the keeper's pulled that one out of the bag. again and there goes the whistle for half time and the scoreline is 2-0 big game with big pressures on the players but they've responded well haven't they they're in front at half time yeah but the danger as always when you are so close to glory is that uh, you get a little nervous So the English League Cup final has had its first half. Here goes the second half. We're underway. Yeah, it can be draining this pitch and going into the second half, further into it, maybe tiredness will play a part. That's the shoot. He wanted to go for the strength in the shot, but he needed some direction. Yeah, I mean, if you don't shoot, you don't score, but he's got to do much better. again they shielded it well under some pressure there maybe took his eye off the ball striding forward purposefully Kovacic well now they can attack and he's got support with it well sitting back it's a bit of a policy here and letting the opposition come at them risky here's Antonio Rudiger Conte. Here's Jorginho. Excellent interception. A chance to break away now on the counter. Mbwana Ali Samata. Nakamba. That's cut out. Well, we're two thirds of the way through the 90 minutes. Half an hour to go. Mateo Kovacic looking down at the benches. Yeah, there's going to be a change. We've got a substitution shortly to come. Kovacic. It's good attacking play this from them. Giroud with Conte face to try and hit it now. Well, that should be the game. You could call it another insurance goal. Surely they can't throw it away here. Clean pair of heels to the opposition and a very clean finish at the end of it. Well, they could only stop and stare because he's one of the quickest players around. One of the best finishers, too. Oh, he's got to make a change, this manager, because uh, it's men against boys. He needs to give them a lift, a substitution, I would imagine. And the managers decided for a change of personnel. I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Trying to spot a potential ball to open them up, but they're keeping the ball well. They've got the ball back by that interception. 
And it is time for a substitution in this match. Mateo Kovacic. And it's going to be an attacking move, this from Chelsea. Marcos Alonso. Little piece of interplay between the two. Pass, pass, pass. And the player with the ball has so many options, so they work so hard off the ball to make those options possible. Yeah, and it's not been passing for passing sake either. They've uh, made inroads into the enemy territory. Well, Alan, it is the substitution now. Well, he's done his bit. He got the goal that put his team in the lead. Can they hold that lead? He could cross it from here. Ross Barkley. The tackling is a real skill. In towards Olivier Giroud. Still a chance in there off the goalkeeper. Counting down towards the end of the 90 minutes. Nine minutes left. He's got possession back for his team. Well, the scoreline now is a wide gap. And with five minutes left, they're not going to have any late drama here, I don't think. Marcus Alonso. Now with Barkley. Maybe the cross. They'll be annoyed with the cross because it was the goalkeeper's ball all the way. Wembley Stadium. Please give it all the for today's man of the match. Kovacic. Number 18. Now Jorginho. Ross Barkley. And the verdict on added time is two minutes. The fourth official has indicated... Mateo Kovacic. Two minutes. Working the ball around, working the opposition around. It's Chelsea's day in the final. They are serial winners, whoever is the manager. And they have done it again. Great credit to the players. We've seen it time and again, haven't we? There's a winning mentality, a winning streak in grind in this football club. Nobody, I think, will be overly surprised to see these seeds, to see these Chelsea players celebrating the victory. It's a brilliant performance on the big day. Blue is the colour, yet again. Wonderful scenes of joy here. And no wonder they're milking the moment. They want to make absolutely the most of this. Well, they're a proper team, aren't they? They've stuck together, defended really well in this competition and snatched the goals at the uh, vital time. So, fully deserved winners. There they go. They are the champions! <laughs> Sharing the success with the supporters. It doesn't come cheap following your team around for games like this so those fans will realize it is money very well spent yeah they've got a close bond with the supporters these players that's one aspect that's really pleasing it's their first instinct to go across to those fans Oh, what a moment to be pictured here as cup winners. Sensational achievement. It certainly has been their day, a very special day indeed. Well, sitting back, it's a bit of a policy.